Hi, good morning. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you here again. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you about the uh, frozen part and the seafood, seafood part in the uh, Chinese grocery store. Um, as you can see, you know, uh, in Chinese grocery store and they also have a section of it which is they sell um, uh, plenty of uh, fresh seafood. Um, well, it costs it call it fresh but actually it smells pretty stinky okay so if you walk into that area it is smelly so you can see um, uh, many workers um, employees working in there and most are the employee um, some Chinese and um, mainly uh, um, uh, uh, Spanish uh, Hispanic people who works in there um, so um, so you can uh, choose the fish, whatever fish you like, and then um, they can uh, cut it out and chop it for you. So you can tell them, you know, you want it, you want the fish cut it, you know, two or three. So they will do it for you. They will clean it up for you, okay? And uh, they also have a, a, a cups of the tips. If you like to give tips, you can uh, drop it in the cups of it, you know. Uh, so those fish you can either choose it from the one they display or you can order through the one a fresh one uh, which you can see in the tank so you can choose whatever fish you like um, so this is the the combination of two Chinese uh, uh, grocery store uh, one is is uh, in Durham and one is uh, in Kerry so you can uh, take a, a look it's basically pretty much the same take some of this also um you know um, sometimes they sell crabs uh, crab is also seasonal okay so sometimes you can see they sell crab by the pound you know like uh, 4.99 a pound okay um, as you walk in there, you know, those, all those uh, employees are pretty uh, uh, friendly, okay? So they tend to say hi to me, okay? Um, so you see some of the, uh, this picture is combination and some of them I took the student uh, for the camp. So to let them see what is uh, the Chinese uh, grocery store look like, okay? Also, if you like the so far, you like the, to see all these things, please don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe button. Okay. As you walk through, you can see um, many different kind of uh, seafood, and I also uh, would like to show you uh, some of the uh, meats. They have meats. Uh, all kind of meats um, while well, Chinese love pork so a lot of pork you can see it and some of the uh, meat are for steamboat and uh, you know some of the pork uh, which is the the way the Chinese like to buy it, buy it in here because they have a, a Chinese cut that's what they think they, they do it okay um, so I just uh, move around so to let you see uh, uh, you know uh, what they sell in the other store as well um, although you know because uh, I read I, I record this one um, it's not in the same place okay so it might not be the same you can see the picture but overall you at least you can get an idea and they also have this called uh, uh, balls I don't know what they have they call it in 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 English, uh, uh, but in Chinese we call it balls, which is different type of balls. Okay, they have a beef ball, a beef tendons ball, fish ball, squid balls, um, shrimp balls, any kind of balls. Okay, uh, <laughs> so um, you can get a pack of it, and it ain't cheap either. A pack is about like five dollars. Okay. 
So um, those balls usually the uh, they cook, uh, they drop it in the soup, okay. Um, or they drop it uh, in the soup, or sometimes they cook with the noodles uh, together, okay. And as you walk around, you can see there are plenty of uh, frozen food, you know, like, uh, of course, you know, like, um, some of them they have to keep in a, a cold area, like tofu, dumpling skins, um, uh, those kind of food, and some frozen food. Uh, they also have this called very delicious um, onion cake, okay. So I will I will put a sign uh, uh, written in English and Chinese so you can see. So onion cake is is very delicious. Uh, I I love to eat it, so I often buy it instead of uh, you make it yourself, which is I don't know how to make it. It it probably take longer time. Uh, so um, the onion cake you can just buy the frozen pack. You can just uh, put some oil and then fry it with it. You know, after for, for a few minutes, and then you can just flip flip around, and then um, you can add a uh, one egg on top of that onion cake, and it is very yummy and delicious. If you haven't give it a try again, you can try a pack. And usually they sell at three. It used to be three pack for five dollars. Now they sell it three three pack for six dollars, and one pack uh it has like five onion cake. So you can fry it, uh, you know, without adding egg. If you don't like eggs, if you like, you can add eggs on, on top of it. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. then um, after that, you can just uh, cut it out. Uh, so it is very yummy, as I said. And also they have these uh, dumpling skins, all kind of dumpling skins. And it probably got you confused when you go, go up there. So basically, I got I, I show you the the yellow one. That's what I get the, the yellow color, uh, a square yellow color. Uh, I make um, fried dumplings. The round one probably they make like um, you know different kind of dumplings. Uh, okay, so variety of um, dumpling skins uh, which you can choose. Okay. Um, so as you walk by again, you can see there is also that's called a bamboo shoot. Uh, this bamboo shoot is come in the pack. Um, you can just uh, take uh, open the pack and then uh, some of them is already sliced. So you can just stir fry it with uh, meats if you like meats, you know, uh, ground pork or ground beef. But I usually eat as a vegetarian. I just put some garlic and then I, and I stir fry with it. And the one is not, uh, 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 they haven't uh, sliced it out, uh, which is I like it better. So I, I make my own slice. Okay, I usually uh, cook with the oil and stir fry with garlic and some soy sauce and some Indonesian sweet sauce. Um, and put some uh, top with the, uh, a green onion. It, it, it is very tasty. So if you like, you can give it a try. Then we walk past down this. We have plenty of buns, a Chinese buns. And in this um, freezer, you know, freezer box, uh, freezer, you call it freezer uh, freeze or whatever so you can open you can see all kind of um, uh, 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 buns uh, Chinese buns uh, with the um, red beans or different kind of stuff some of them are vegetarian and um, what else they have? They have a variety of it, okay? They have a black bean as well. And a vegetarian or meat buns. Which you can, uh, 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 you know, you can steam it. You can take home, you can steam it. It's ready to eat. And they also have a, 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 a plain buns. Uh, which has nothing in it, okay? So you, you come home, you can just, you know eat with some some vegetable or whatever you like okay 
and you as you see they have some this call a uh, uh, fried onion onion cake okay so I show you some of the onion pancake um, they come in variety of onion pancake uh, but this is the pack I, I you know I will put a, a, a note in there which is I usually, usually got those okay and what else do we got oh then I have this uh, called a bitter melon leaf so these are um, as last time I mentioned they also sell a frozen bitter melon leaf which is uh, came from Philippines okay so I usually eat the one fresh one which I homegrown okay those are very good okay so I'm not sure what they do with this it's already mushy okay the bitter melon leaf then they have this um, Indonesian uh, stinky beans uh, which is very uh, nutritious and it is very expensive you know it's a small pack like maybe 20 25 maybe it costs you like four dollars 39 okay it's um it's crazy so but then this is a uh, imported so you just have to pay for the price if you like to eat it and they have this called uh, glutinous uh, rice uh glutinous rice is um you know you can buy is different kind of variety some of them is small small one has nothing inside but there are some of them um as you can see in the picture it has uh sometimes they stuff with peanuts and sometimes they stuff with the uh, sesame or whatever it's a sweet sweet one so those glutinous rice you can just uh, boil a part of water and then dump it inside the water and then let it boil and then you you can put some um a brown sugar and if you have a ginger you cook with ginger um some slice some of the ginger it tastes very good and it is um uh, very nice to eat during winter time it keeps you warm so winter time they do sell a lot of those things and people love to buy it and sometimes for chinese celebration certain occasion they also sell sell those uh, glutinous uh, rice okay so if you haven't get it, uh, give it a try and um, please try that one too that those are very delicious one okay you can choose whatever flavor you want okay and the final one i also have this called chinese uh, twist crawler chinese twist crawler you can uh, usually they eat uh, for breakfast uh, in china or in taiwan uh, they do a fresh uh, crawler so th they can just fry it in front of you and then it tastes very delicious but in here so you have no choice you got a frozen one so the frozen one you just have to unpack it uh, and then um, heat it up in your oven so i also have a video on those uh, on this um, chinese crawler so you can check it out how to do it and it is very delicious if you like it uh, uh, you like to try it you can give it a try and it is um, uh, um, affordable it's like a pack like maybe you get five or six of it it come in a pair i think it's a three pairs three or four pairs so it costs you like less than three dollars so you can uh, give it a try um, if you like to try out about all this chinese food you can give it a try and it is very delicious and um, if you have any questions uh, you can always put it uh, under the comment box okay all right i hope you enjoyed this uh, a brief uh, introduction okay i see you around again but please don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, a thumbs up okay i see you soon bye bye now
when the ball already done, they pop up. So now the big one, we just wait until this ball is done, they pop up on the top. That's it, you just add ginger, brown sugar, and water. Very simple. Especially nice for winter to drink it. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye bye. Now you see when it is done, the, the ball is all floating on the top. Okay, so that's done already. Alright. It's the time for me to say goodbye again. Um, please don't forget to share and uh, subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye bye.